Okay, babies. Come over here. Oh, what a good boy. Rusty, don't do that. I'm Nancy, and I'm retired from the phone company. Rusty, leave him alone. Come on. I think I'm a hoarder. I like to collect books, CDs, and videos. And I like to collect things that have to do with creating. I think I started collecting things or hoarding things when I was a child. But what I like to collect and what I end up collecting aren't always the same things. My house is filled with empty bottles, empty boxes, and empty dog food cans. Instead of throwing them away, I let the dogs lick them clean. There. And then I never managed to pick them up off the floor and throw them away. My name is Michelle, and Nancy is my aunt. She can't even sit at a table or make a meal in her kitchen because she would be standing on two feet of garbage. And I don't know what happened to her bedroom. I can't even see if there's a mattress in there. It's filthy. She cannot turn on the heat in her home. I'm afraid of her getting hypothermia, pneumonia. I'm really confused what happened. My name's Janine and Nancy's my sister. When you can sleep in garbage like that, or the crap laying on the floor, at some point she has decided that life's okay like this. And she's not of any value. Her house was always messy, but it was never to this extreme. When I am in my aunt's house, I feel sad. It's very difficult for me too watch her decline. I pray for my sister a lot because she's dying a slow death. And if she doesn't get help, she's gonna die in the house. And I can't stand the thought of that. All right, you guys, so we gotta get started. We have the bio crew here. They're gonna take care of the really bad stuff in there. My name's Corey Chalmers. I'm an extreme cleaner that specializes in biohazard and hoarding. Well, you look like you have concerns already. What's wrong? I just want to say, please do not ask me why I want to keep something. Listen, if we don't question you, this is how you got here, OK? This is your thinking process. So if you don't change some of that thinking process, then we're going to end up right back where we were. So there are going to be some challenges to the way that you think. What's of value is right here. Okay, Nancy, you want to come sit right here? First thing I'd like to do this morning is take Nancy and her family into the kitchen. I want them to work together, learn to communicate, talk about things, because once we leave, they're going to be stuck with this mess. I think you will agree that the majority of this is going to be trash. Yes. Okay. The bottom fell out. Look at the spiders in that. Oh, spiders. Oh, let me see, please. Nancy, it's covered in feces. I just want to look in there. It's not skinny. Okay. Heavy. I've seen it. Everything was going fine in the kitchen, but then all of a sudden, Janine just kind of had a breakdown, it looked like. She just started staring at the floor, you know, and crying. I'm just upset. I've never experienced anything like this. I think reality set in of how her sister's been cooking and eating in filthy, disgusting conditions. I can't believe this is a house. This is a house. I know. This is a kitchen, but she she fixed food in that. And then put it in her her body? Yeah. No. Oh, God, help. The microwave is covered in rodent feces. And to think of preparing food in that type of environment, there just aren't words. Your sister's really having a hard time being in this kitchen where you're cooking and eating and putting stuff in your body. It's heartbreaking. And this is one reason I would never have told you what was going on, because I don't want to see you distressed about it. Life is never meant to be walked alone. You can't walk alone. 
Do you understand that? I do. I do. So I didn't know if I could trust you. But now I know I can. I'm sorry. What were you afraid of before, Nancy? <laughs> Judgment and rejection. And are you feeling that now? No. Not at all. Not any any form of it. Not, nothing. All these tears from all of you are because they want you to live a better life and because you want a better life. You all want the same goal. So you've got to give this back to them and show them that you really do appreciate them getting us here. Okay? I can do that. No. <laughs> Break! <laughs> Okay, this one's full. Just have to throw it away. Good job. What's really scary here is look at when you touch this. I'm really worried right now. We're cleaning out the kitchen and we're finding very significant damage. Okay. There's nothing left. We need to bring the whole family together. We need to show them that this house is literally crumbling right around her. You have major slant to your floor back here where the house is actually sinking. You also can see the mold damage all through that wall. It's very evident now with all the damage that we've uncovered that Nancy cannot stay in this home. I know it's not good news, but is this anything that you didn't already know? Well, I didn't know it was as bad as it is. I just need some time to accept it. This is too hard. <laughs> if the house had burned down, I couldn't feel worse. <sighs> Everything can only get better from here. Yes. How do you get worse than living in a home filled with dog waste? Really? Also, one of the things that really contributed to it getting worse was getting depressed, okay? <laughs> and then I think one of the things that contributed to you getting so depressed was you were so isolated and disconnected from your family. And no matter what, that's going to change. Okay. I am Dr. Michael Tompkins. I'm a psychologist, and I specialize in the treatment of obsessive compulsive spectrum disorders like hoarding disorder. The real consequence of what now is starting to sink in for Nancy and I, that she's just overwhelmed. And I were really trying to help her and her family stay in problem-solving mode. My concern is her being so far away from family and support. And so my recommendation would be that she relocate closer by you guys so that she is, again, part of your family. You can come in and check on her, see how she's doing. I wanted to hear from you about whether that is something that you think would work for your family. It is absolutely crucial that she has people in her life that love her and care for her and accept her. Now is the time to bring up. Uh, my daughter, Maureen, came to me and said her and her husband are moving to a big farmhouse. There's a large room over a double garage, and they want to offer it to you for the winter. Wow. <laughs> so you would immediately have a place to live. Oh my gosh, for the man, winter. that would be wonderful. Thank you. It'll be nice to have her nearby and I won't be worrying all the time about her. I can check in on her. Do you, do you need it? Yeah, that's brand new. She's going to be around family in a new clean environment. Her health is going to get better. She's going to get some professional help. Jeez, I can't name how many blessings are going to be in her life. If I have observed anything today, it's that the family is right there for her. She sees the value of it. They see the value of it, and it's wonderful. Look, it's all thrown away. It is, thank you. OK, you got rid of more than you can. Good job. Hey, okay, you're doing great, Nancy. Thank you. This is the best possible outcome. We couldn't save the house, but we can save Nancy. She has a family that's very willing to support her. I really think she has the best chance to fully recover and manage this disorder with this outcome. I think I'd like to walk through the house one more time and kind of say goodbye and um, think about the times that I had that were good 
when I lived here. Goodbye, house. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but this is how you're ending up. I feel very sad about having ruined my house. That was death. Goodbye, house. Now she has life. <sighs> She's got hope. Hi, thanks for being a fan of Hoarders. And subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.